You're gone. All right, welcome back to Phone Facts, Brother Saints. I hope we're all doing well. Today we receive a very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, today we receive um, like a, um, a special visit from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Thank you for joining us. I'm so happy to be here. Um, so I was born on October 28th in 1774 in New York City. I am the first um, native born American to be um, canonized. Um, my family was rich and very um, Episcopalian. Um, when I was 19, I met my husband, William Seton, and we had five children, three girls and two boys. And my, we were very, we had a very happy marriage, but my husband suffered from tuberculosis um, for most of our marriage and his health started to worsen. And eventually we went to Italy to see if the climate would help him. Um, but fortunately it did not. And he passed away. Um, I was there with my one daughter and I started visiting Catholic churches in Italy. And I eventually was accepted into the Catholic church when I returned to America. My family was, who was very Protestant, was not happy that I converted to Catholicism. So I was essentially left on my own to care for my five children. I opened an academy um, for girls in New York. Um, and I eventually start, founded the Sisters of Charity, um, which is an organization that serves the poor in America um, until I died in on October, or excuse me, January, Fourth, um, eighteen twenty-one, at the age of forty-six. Nice. So I have a, a few questions there um, about all that. So to begin, um, there's not really a whole lot of questions. So, um, so the first question is, how did you find true Catholic life? Um, when I started visiting churches in Italy, I became very attracted to um, the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. And I had a strong desire to receive Jesus. And I knew that the only way I could attain that union was by um, in communion with the Catholic church. Um, I had also lost my mother at a young age when I was three years old. And the Catholic idea of Mary, of Jesus giving us his mother was very strong to me. Um, so, I guess my Catholic faith came out of the suffering of losing my husband and my mother and a desire for unity with the church through the Eucharist and through a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thanks. Um, why were you known as Mother Seton? So mother is usually a term for the foundress or superior of a group of religious sisters. And I founded the Sisters of Charity. Um, so mother reflects that title, but it also reflects the concept that I had five children. So I think I'm known as Mother Seton because I was both a religious sister and a mom. Nice. And um, what is the Sisters of Charity? The Sisters of Charity, they're a order of nuns that serve the poor, especially in the United States and Canada. Um, we opened orphanages and schools while I was alive. Um, and today we um, still serve as nurses and teachers. We have homes for the aged um, and run childcare facilities. So we are also um, in partnership with the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul another saint who served the poor. So our vocation is to serve the poor in any capacity that we can. Thanks. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? I am, so I'm the patron saint of a lot of things. Um, I'm the patron saint of widows, um, seafarers, because I did a lot of sailing going back and forth from America and Italy, um, trouble with in-laws and um, the American school system. And um, when I was alive, my favorite prayer was Psalm 23. Nice. Um, well, I have a, a prayer here uh, to you. So um, let's do that. Um, my Father, and our Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh God, you raised up St. Elizabeth in your church. 
so that she might instruct others in the way of salvation. Grant us so to follow Christ after her example, that we may reach you in the company of our brothers. Amen. May the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Well, thank you for joining us on Fun Facts of the Saints. Thank you so much for having me. God bless. Thank you, Sister Elizabeth Ann.